Gordon Cleveland heads to Saks Fifth Avenue to catch up with fashion's newest wunderkind, Wes Gordon. We get the insight from the designer Vogue is calling one to watch. So your senior collection at yes. Central St. Martin's was selected to close the press show, which is no small accomplishment. Central St. Martin's is a crazy place. And in order to kind of stand out and get attention there, you've got to be crazier than everybody else. Yeah. So I decided to do my final collection out of blown glass. Each outfit had like 100 meters of fabric. We had collars made from blown glass, sleeves, bodices, and it was beautiful, but very dangerous and very delicate. And right before the models came out on the catwalk, the, the school was running around making sure they were all in flats. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me a heart attack, I'm like, please don't Trip. Please don't trip, please don't trip. I feel like the collections you've done since then have been very quiet, but still assertive. Now I think my collections reflect more the way I like to dress and my philosophy about people dressing. Why don't we talk about the first collection you did out of school, your fall 10. So I graduated, I moved to New York, I took a room at the St. Regis and took appointments and just all day sat there while people sat on the couch and had hot chocolate and showed them the jackets and pointed out why I liked each piece. It's from Taroni, the really deep red Duchess satin and then it's paired with the dyed Persian knife. We were just very lucky in the process to meet some amazing retailers like Saks Fifth Avenue, Harrods, um, and begin these ongoing partnerships. What were your favorites from that first collection? We had a cool navy double-breasted jacket in a navy twill wool, and then it had a solid embroidered sleeve with a leather cuff. It was one that you could wear with skinny jeans or you could dress it up. So how did you transition that sensibility into your spring collection, the current collection? Spring's what's hanging in the stores now, and I think you know one ongoing theme that we started touching on that first season is that everything needs to be special. You know, we're coming out of a recession, people are thinking about what they're spending their money on. You know, my clothes are not inexpensive, and if I'm gonna have a woman buy a piece, I need to make sure that she falls in love with it, it looks beautiful on her, and that, more importantly, she's gonna be able to wear it for a long time and get a lot of use out of it. You know, every detail, every component should be really well considered and thought through and work for the overall benefit of the garment.